cannot tell me what I know. I have been active in kingdom business for the past 35 years. So I am knowledgeable in these things. That is not dry fasting. That is not dry fasting. Eh. You have not started in this kingdom business until you can go. Jesus, I am a soldier of the Lord. I am a soldier of the Lord. I feel no man. Jesus. Alicia, what is the matter with you? Eh? What is going on? They are chasing me. I think there are some people chasing me. You think? Yes. I think they were chasing me. No, there's nobody chasing you. Eh? Are you sure? Where are you coming from? The mall. Hey. Alicia, what have you stolen this time? Eh? What? Auntie. Auntie, please, it's, it's not like that, one. It, it's not like how? How is it? Tell me exactly. <sighs> hey! It's not what you think. Hey! Cigarettes! Alicia, do you even smoke? So what are you doing with cigarettes? I don't know why I took it. You went to the mall. You bought absolutely nothing. But you now carried cigarettes that you don't even smoke. Hey, again, man. Alicia, are you under a spell? Eh? <laughs> Let me return it. Where do you think you want to go to? I want to go back to the mall and return it. And embarrass who? You don't have to go with me, auntie. <laughs> it's like you don't understand. You don't understand the level of my popularity. I am known worldwide in the four corners of the earth. Evangelist Jane The kingdom banner holder. Fighter of the enemies and destroyer of demons. I am known everywhere. So, you want to now go and destroy my name that is known online and offline? You want to go there to return cigarettes? No. Then people will bring out their phone and start snapping you. Doing video and tagging Evangelist Jane. Saying that my niece was seen returning stolen cigarettes. Eh? You don't know that people know you with me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Auntie, so what do we do now? Ne, you will smoke it. What? You got no cigarette. <sighs> Smokers are liable to die young. You will die, not I, me. I don't know how to smoke. Auntie, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I don't know how to smoke. You will learn, oh? Please now, Auntie, please. I promise. Hey, I, hey, hey, hey. I don't want to hear that word, promise. It irritates me. Eh? Promise, promise, promise. That's how you promisedly went into a restaurant and stole glass cup. Glass cup. Glass cup with all the one million glass cups I have in this house. Eh? Now you went to steal cigarettes. No, you're going to smoke this thing. Since you have decided to become a hoodlum, I will help you in your new career. I'm not smoking it. Eh. Oh, you're doing tough girl gang for me. So one day, let me start going to the police station. It's time to report. No, no, wait, 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 Daddy. I'll smoke. Put your mouth or say something. Nonsense. You know how much I have tried to ignite the fire of the Lord in you. But since you don't want the fire of the Lord, Umwa, it's time to inhale hellfire. Uh -huh. Very good. You are going to smoke this thing. Hey, hey, hey. Don't waste. Don't cough and waste. 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 This. this thing is very expensive. This thing is expensive. Auntie, I'm allergic to all these things now. You know. Allergic. Smoke this thing. 
Put it in your mouth. They say it causes cancer. Put it in your mouth. That cancer will kill you. Put it in your mouth. Oh yeah. Inhale. Exhale. If you cough that thing out, eh? If you cough that thing out, that thing is expensive. Don't waste it. Ngwa, ngwa. You have to swallow it. Yes, swallow it. Ngwa. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh. Inhale. Fine girl, on your shit. Exhale, you who are. Don't annoy me. I'll go to the police. Ngwa, 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 ngwa. Inhale. Beautiful Anini. Exhale. You. Inhale. All right. <sighs> okay, Alicia. We are not stealing anything today. Today is a new day. No matter how tempting, no matter how enticing, you promise that you will not steal anything today. You will overcome. You got this. Alicia, you got this. That was a brilliant presentation. Have I ever told you that you're literally the best thing that's ever happened to this agency? After me, of course. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Why do you have to always do this sort of thing? Because we're in the office and we have to sound professional. Look, it's just me and you here. It's no one else. Someone could be listening. Look, I don't mind them knowing that we're in love with each other. I don't mind at all. Look, I mind. It's bad enough that you shower me with accolades in front of the staff. Imagine what will happen if they found out we were actually dating. I am currently enjoying a level of animosity that I do not like, so please stay away from me. Oh, okay. Look, <laughs> look, 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 chill. Look, I'm a man, okay? A young man at that, so... I have the right to be in love with anyone in the world. And that happens to be you. Well, it's not a good look if a boss is sleeping with his employee. So you should mind. I don't care. I care. I just love you. Like, I really, really love you. And I can't wait to show you off. But I understand. I respect your decision. So I will wait for you to be comfortable to put our relationship out there. Exactly. But until then, Stop. Doctor, no one's gonna budge into my Someone office. Someone can budge in. No one. Come here, no one. Sure. Yes, no one's gonna budge in. You know that, you know I miss you. Mm -hmm. I don't like doing this in the office. Look, you wouldn't come to my house, so you leave us with no option. Well, I have my reasons. You always have your reasons. I do. <laughs> I have to go now. Okay. Okay, don't miss me too much. Come on, is that even possible? of this girl. Very soon she'll start to steal spirits out of people's bodies. You will just be sleeping and the next thing if you they've sucked your spirit out of your body. 
This girl, her own uh, uh, criminal tendencies is, is, is getting to be too much. Oh. This... Oh. Speak of the devil. Talk to her. Oh. Better talk to her. Alicia. I know why you're here. I know what you want to say, and I don't want to hear But you don't have a choice. You have to listen. I don't have to listen. Aren't you tired? I am, actually. Yes, because you're beginning to sound like a broken record. You say the same thing over and over again, without any result, and yet you keep talking. Aren't you tired? But you need to listen to the truth. You need advice. You call what you dish out advice. What you do, Chingwe, is ridicule me. You make fun of my situation. You make me feel little. You make me feel worthless. You make me feel like a criminal. Well, you can feel whatever you feel like feeling. That is your business. What do you expect? That I sugarcoat words for you? Applaud you for going around town, stealing everything you set your eyes on? Alicia. Alicia. Alicia, what is wrong with you? Are you not tired of this embarrassment? All your friends have left you. I'm the only one here. So now you want to leave? That is not what I am saying. Then what are you saying? Because you might as well just leave. Leave. Because I'm tired of being an embarrassment to you. Wow. At this point, I'm not worthy to have any friend. Alicia. What are you doing with beads? You now wear beads. Wait. Don't tell me it's what I am thinking. You stole beads. <gasps> Alicia, you stole her beads. I hate beads. Ah. You know what? Start leaving. <laughs> oh my god. Alicia, why? Is everything okay? You sounded so worried over the phone. Should I not be worried? I think this place is haunted. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm not joking. Haunted? Are you joking? No, I'm not. I'm dead serious. Look, at first, I thought it was just me alone. But now, every member of the staff is complaining about their items missing randomly. I don't understand. Like, what do you mean you don't understand? Don't you work here? Have you not heard people complain about their things missing? So, do they think someone's actually stealing these items? It doesn't even make sense. Who steals a leg of shoe? Flask cover, car keys, mug, who does all that stuff? Like, I'm literally freaking out right now. That's weird. Question, have you lost anything here before? Nope, I haven't lost anything. Oh, I think I, I, I've actually lost something. I just didn't think much of it. It's, um, I lost something. Ah, I, I need to do something about this. I, I, I need to do something about it. Honestly, I don't know. So what do you want to do? I, I, I don't know. I... CCTV. CCTV? Yeah, I think we should have a CCTV camera here. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? The budget. It's not a problem. We can cover the budget. The company can afford it. Okay. You sent for me, you said you had an assignment. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, there's this client I want you to meet tomorrow. Okay. Reservations have been made and, you know, you meet him tomorrow, you discuss business with him, yeah. So, I'll forward the details to you. All right, sir. Bye. All right, baby. Better. So, yeah, I'll send it to you. Yeah, uh, hello. Hi. Hey. 
Please sit. Would you like to place another first? No. No. I'd rather we go straight to business. That's the reason why we're here. Your boss said we have all day to discuss business. I'm sorry, but I don't have all day. I'd like to leave as soon as possible. Do you realize you were here to convince me to make use of your agency for my brand? Do you know how many advertising agency are pitching for that job? I'm fully aware, sir. I don't think so. Okay. Ignore what I said earlier, please. I'm here for you. And I have all day. Now let's get straight to business. So we are. Um. This room smells of sin. There's iniquity in the air. <laughs> Jen, you have suffered. Don't know how light and darkness can dwell under the same roof. Eh? Every night I'll be having nightmares because of this possessed girl. And she... of a man's shoe. Hey! One girl by the highway. This girl has finished me. Jane, you have seen something. So, um, based on the plan to increase your reach to the north, we decided to incorporate, you know, the values and the customs and traditions of people in that area. Um, sorry, excuse me. Oh, I let me pick this call, okay? I'll be with you shortly. Yeah, hello.
I'm, I'm sorry, that was a call I could ring now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I get it, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so where were we? Uh, we're talking about the strategy for penetrating the north. Hmm. I shared my idea with you, you seem to love it. So. That was one amazing idea, you know. Now I understand why your boss sent here to discuss business. <laughs> um, so, I think um, we've gotten to the part where we get to discuss terms and conditions and the pay, yeah? Uh, I'm afraid you have to have that conversation with my boss. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, we've come to an end of this discussion. Yes, it is. I get to see you at the office on Monday. Thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure. And please have a good day. I my regards to your boss. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I have decided that you will go to the village. What? What is what? What is what? Look at your loot. Look at the loot you brought into this house. <laughs> Auntie. <laughs> then look at yourself in the mirror. What do you see? I know what I see. See a wasted soul, a thief, a criminal. Auntie, I don't care what you see. I'm not proud of myself. Okay, I'm not proud. Even your mother in the grave is not proud of you. Your father abandoned your mother because of you. You! He couldn't handle a cursed child going around the village picking whatever her hand could touch. Your poor mother got fed up and sent you to me hoping I could cure you. But it's obvious your level of decadence is too much for even the highest man of God to cure. Please. Please, I'll get an apartment. I have some money I've saved up. I can pay for an apartment anywhere but the village. <laughs> I'm talking A and this one is talking B. Get an apartment. In what city? This same city where I've built my church. This same city where I run the church of the movers and shakers in society. Rich men and women, men and women that matter. You want to stay here and ruin my reputation. You will not stay in the city. I have a job too. Who cares about your job? Auntie, please, Auntie, please, I beg you. I know that you have done the best for me, but I have not been the best niece over the years. I beg you, please, please don't send me back to the village. Please. Then I guess you'd rather go to jail then. Yes! Why are you looking at me like that? I prefer to take my own flesh and blood and toss you into the jail than for you to destroy everything I've worked for. That ministry is my source of income. Everything you see in this house is from that church. It is with that income that I raised you to this level you are now. You will not spoil it for me. Ah. You came home and I just went into all these heavy, heavy discussions. I forgot to ask how your day went. What did you steal this time? The head of a fowl. <laughs> Alicia. 
<sighs> Why did you even steal the passport? Oh my god, Sarah's baby is so cute. Oh, I'm sure she looks like the dad. Sarah is not that beautiful. What do you think? Have you seen the dad? Do you know Sarah's husband? Why is her face like that? Why will my face be like that? I told you I didn't want to attend that dedication, but you insisted. So? So? Didn't you notice everyone was avoiding me? They were literally looking at me funny. Whose sports is that, Alicia? Hmm? The last time you were invited to an event, you stole the microphone. You know, it seems you intentionally forced me to attend this event so you can embarrass me. Uh, uh, no, it's almost like you are having fun. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 see, at least, you didn't steal anything this time around now. It's, uh, cheer up. Everything went well. I need my phone. It's my phone that's ringing. Yeah. Hello? No, but I sent you the email. You didn't get Alicia, it. Alicia, are you pregnant? What, I'll call what you back. I'll call you back. Things? What are you doing? What are you doing with baby items? Who is expecting a baby? Don't tell me you stole items that were gifted to a newborn baby. <laughs> I'll, I'll send them money. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is the height of it. You now steal from babies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey! <laughs> Will this shoe even be your size? <laughs> hey! Yo, bro, 
Nice doing business with you, man, Mr. Williams. Uh, well, I hope you can say the same thing when the work is done and the results are in. <laughs> Look, I promise you, your brand is in good hands. Okay. Yeah. And Alicia, who here will, you know, walk you through everything about our company and our policies. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Since you'll be heading the project, uh, I think it's wise I have your personal contact. I don't think that's necessary. You have the office line. You can always reach me on there. I, I think um, what Mr. Williams is trying to say is he needs your personal line for easy communication, right? Exactly. Okay. Okay, I would um, give you a call. Thank you. Right, Thank you, Mr. Mr. Doko. I'll get to you soon. All right. What was that all about? Why would you ask me to give a client my personal line? Because he asked for it. So? Dako, I'm your girlfriend. You shouldn't be comfortable with me distributing my numbers to clients. Okay. Look. This is business. This is my company. And you have a job to do. You see, making money is our primary goal here. Any other thing comes after. Do you understand? No, Ted, sir. Good. Like, we're talking money, she's cash and feelings. Every spirit of stealing, you will get out of this girl today and out of this house. That evil spirit in this girl, move out of her body and out of this house. And what's going on now? I have soaked this kid in holy water. For seven days and seven nights, by the time I am done with you, that evil spirit in you will fly back to the Bermuda Triangle. There is no evil spirit in me now. Ah, you lie. You lie. You are deceiving yourself, but you cannot deceive me. Alicia, you are on the path of destruction and I will not sit back and watch you go. I am not on the path to destruction. Stop saying this. Stop oh. saying all this rubbish. So you don't know. You don't know that as the days go by, you are heading slowly to your final destruction. You will burn! No. You will burn in the lake Shut of this. fire! I will not stop! I will not stop until I have pissed that evil spirit I out of you! Stop it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Come back here! Come here! Come here! You must be delivered today! You must... Open this door! Open this door! Open this door in the name of the Lord! Open this door in the name of the Lord of Amis! I said open this door! Open this door! Lift up your heads, all you gates! Be ye lifted, ye everlasting gods, that the King of glory might enter! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Williams. No, no, I can't come. I can't make it tomorrow. I know it's about business, but I can't. <sighs> You sent for me. 
A surprise? <laughs> I love surprises. You're sucking me? What did I do wrong? What's going on? I've given my best to this company. Was it because I didn't show up at work the other day? Was it because I ignored your call? Did... Wait, did Mr. Williams say I was rude or anything? Why? Why are you sacking me? It's because you're a thief. But a ghost that's been haunting this place. You're the ghost that's been stealing from us. Why? Like, please just tell me why, because I, I need to understand. I mean, to think that I told you that I'm going to install a CCTV camera here and you went ahead and did this to me? Did this to us? I'm sorry. Don't sorry me. You know what I want you to do? I want you to pack your things and get out of here. I don't want to see you again. I am your girlfriend. Why not? Dagbo, please don't do this to me, please. I swear to God, this will be the last time. I will never do this again. Please, please, please. I thought you said I was the best thing that happened to your agency. I take that back. You're actually the worst thing. So please, get the hell out of my office. Get out! You don't want me to call the security. You want me to do that? You know, I can make a scene. We can actually create a scene. I say, I say get out. I'm so ashamed of you. Out. I don't want to see you again. I'm so ashamed of you. Damn! Sacked. <laughs> yeah. Is this not the fifth time you're getting sacked for the same reason? But I wait to. Is this how you are going to sit back and watch your life crumble before your eyes? Your life is getting ruined, though. You are losing opportunities. Because once you see people's properties, <laughs> your hand will just turn to a wood stick. Bam! It will twingum the thing and carry it to the house with you. <laughs> you are losing people. Because nobody wants to be associated with a thief. <laughs> do you think you will ever find a man to marry you? Auntie Jane. You can lecture me all you want. Talk to me from morning till night, but don't tell me about marriage. Last I checked, you are not married. I am married to Jesus. Or maybe Jesus will marry me too. But no, you are not Jesus' speck. Oh, Jesus has a speck. Jesus rose with light. He doesn't throw with darkness. No, you are darkness. Oh, we the co-wives, we know each other. <laughs> if every evangelist was like you, no soul would enter the kingdom of God. All you do is condemn me morning till night. Not a word of encouragement. You don't even believe in me. Why don't you take out the log from your eye before you remove the speck in mine? If you die today, you won't even smell the kingdom of God. You won't even see it. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up your mouth. Don't 
Don't you dare open your mouth to tell me this kind of rubbish again. Bien? Like you always say, the truth is bitter. You, how dare you? How dare you walk out on me? Eh? So, normal human beings will walk out on me, and this serial Saki serial thief is also walking. Is she maybe the you, you're even wasting my food. I don't blame you. When you're stealing, you won't understand the real value of money. Call me a lost cause. And you won't be far from the truth. Mm. You would be fighting in a just cause. Mm. Ah. If you think I'm getting all I deserve. Make your judgment of me and be fair. Nobody has it if you can but come, 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 come. I am doing my best, but the strings are Hello? Hey. Alicia, what's up? Hold on. Get me. Get me another drink. Um, another one? We had one already. And you seemed very tipsy. Is that any of your business? If I needed your opinion, I would ask for it. You know what? Get out. Okay. You mean I shouldn't bother about the drink? I said get out! Okay. Alicia. Are you drinking? No, I'm not drinking. I, I heard something about more bottles of wine. I don't know what you heard. Um, look, Alicia, your boss told me what happened. He said you're not working with them anymore. And um, he sucked you. He told you that? I'm sure he told you why. Uh, yes, he did, but... I think it's a lie. <laughs> no, 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 it's not a lie. It's true. <laughs> Everything he said about me is the truth. <laughs> I am a thief. I steal anything, anything. I will steal it. Just mention it. <laughs> look, um, Alicia, look, just tell me where you are, okay? I'll come. You want to come? <laughs> Please come, come, come. The more the merrier. That way I can drink and pass out. You know, just pass out and not wake up. I'm tired of this life. What's the point of living when my life is not perfect? Like everyone else. You know what is okay, so stop talking nonsense. Just text me. I will send you my location. <laughs> Superman. I don't want to stash this bag. I want to no, stash this bag. My bill is in your bag. Now let's check your bag. What's this? I want to stash it. Hey, 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 hey! What's going on here? What's going on here? Am I not asking you a question? What is going on? Why are you harassing my friend? Oh, is she your friend? She's my friend, yes? Then tell her to allow us to search her bag! I don't understand. What do you want to search her bag for? What gave you the right to search her bag? Well, the PS is missing. I left it there to attend to something and now it's nowhere to be found. Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I seem not to understand. Your PS is missing and you Wait, is this how you guys treat your customers? Accusing her of theft? What's going on? We just want to search her bag. So why don't she allow us to do that? Why would you want to... You know what? Fine. Alicia, um, allow them to search your bag. Hey, easy. I let him search your bag. Okay. This right. me now. Hey, take it. Hey, take no. it easy. Hey, easy. Please open the. Oh yeah. Okay. I knew it. You see? You see? Um. 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 Guys, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure there's a mix-up somewhere. Uh, it's a mistake. I don't think so. Well, it's it's very obvious. That's how they do. They dress up looking so cute with yes. their long hair and all. Then they go around stealing things that are not even their own. Um, guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm 
Let's just go. 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 Let's just just come in here and, and, and take what's not theirs, stupid wife material. You're not gonna say that. Hey! Did you leave them? Let's see why I'm not gonna see for my work. Hey! The king will be. Stupid <laughs> fine people in the name of beauty. Are they pity that girl? Okay. Oh, fine girl. Thief. I beg, leave that, that stupid woman. Don't say she never find you. Hey, how many bottles you been say? Um, my, um, I'm a friend. Mm -mm. You got her drunk? No, 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 not at all. I, I met her drunk, so I decided to bring her home. I, I hope she didn't embarrass you like she embarrasses everybody she meets. Um, no, not at all. Go and dump her there. Okay. Lele, Lele, Lele. Lele, 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 Lele. Hey! Um, good night, Bon. Mm -hmm. So, when they say all of God's creation should raise hand, this one too wants her present and raise her hand. Hi! Father Lord, you have suffered. Any kwala ma mereba o? Fia. Mr. Williams, I was going to call you this morning. I wanted to apologize for whatever trouble I may have caused. I don't need anyone, and I don't need to talk. Mr. Williams, I apologize once again if I may have caused you any trouble. But please lose my number. I no longer work with the agency, so you don't have any reason to call me. Goodbye. You again? Yeah, um, I came to see Alicia. Why? I told you she's my friend. So? So, please help me tell her that I'm, I'm here, I'm waiting for her. The best thing I can do for you is to advise you to stay away from Alicia. With due respect, Ma, I think she should be in the best position to tell me that. <laughs> Alicia is my niece. I don't know you, but I can categorically tell you that that girl is not good for you. I have said my own. I'm on my way to church. <laughs> I have something for you. I am a woman of God. 
I own a church. You can come anytime to any of our services and uh, perhaps you might meet uh, a virtuous woman, a God-fearing woman, a suitable wife, not Alicia. I ain't no naga, I ain't a quensu no naga, I ain't no naga, I ain't a quensu no naga, I ain't no naga, I ain't a quensu no naga, O ye na my church in a gay, a chain a quensu merela. I ain't no naga, I ain't a quensu no naga, I ain't a quensu no naga, I ain't no naga. Alicia, what is this I hear Auntie Jane say about you losing your job? This kind of life never tire you. Huh? If this life never tire me, I am tired on your behalf. I've received first hand embarrassment because of you. Hmm? And as a matter of fact, I've taken it upon myself to find a solution to your problem. And I have found one. You found the solution? Mm-hmm. I spoke to my dad. And he told me about a very powerful man. A powerful man? Is he a pastor? No. An imam. Chimwe, I hope it's nothing fetish. Does it matter? Alicia, at this critical point of your condition, does it matter? Do you have a choice? It matters. I have a choice. I will not follow you to that place. Yeah. Mm. Do you want a solution for your problem or not? Have you considered that I might go there and steal something from the shrine? You want me to go and pack more problem and add to the one I'm currently dealing with as if it's not enough for me? Please, I'm not following you. Mm. Mm. So you're not coming with me? No, I'm not coming. Okay. At least I tried to help you. See, I just pity you. Yes. Alicia, look at you. Me, Chingwe. Very soon I will get married and have to focus on my family. And you, you forever remain single and continue with this your behavior. No. It's not like I'm trying to curse you or anything. I'm just stating the fact. Because be honest with me, which man will want to marry a woman who will bring him nothing but embarrassment? How's that mean now? Chewie, are you mocking my Mocking you. Not at all. And you won't be far from the truth. You would be fighting in a just cause. If you think I'm getting all I deserve, take your judgment off me and be. Hello, Alicia. Hey. Did I wake you up? No. No, no, not at all. What's up? I couldn't sleep. Uh, okay. Um, should I come pick you up? To where? I don't know. Maybe a hangout, a club, I don't know. Anywhere? Hell no. I just need to talk. Hmm. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Something, anything. Just something to free my mind and hopefully help me sleep. I'll tell you a story. Hmm. It's 
So what's your story? Mm -hmm. Story of my life. Look, Alicia, you need to understand that you're not the only one passing through a hard time in life. And that would you be the last, okay? If I can be fine, you two can be fine too. I was once married. I had a very handsome son, mm -hmm. who I cherish and I still cherish. I used to have his passport in my wallet. One day, I was on one of my business trip and my house was on fire. My wife and my son were in there. I was not there to save them. And that was, that was how I lost my beautiful family. I lost every zeal to life. I, I thought the world has ended. I, I hated myself because I was not there to see my family. I felt so pained, useless. But here, here I am, still living and forging ahead. Look at this year. Whatever it seems that you're passing through, you can pass through it and still be better. Hello? Hello? Hello, Alicia, are you there? Hello? If you think I'm getting all I deserve Take your judgment off me and be fair Yes, yes, I'm on my way. See you. Where is she going this time, huh? I'm going out to see someone. Someone? That guy, eh? What guy? The guy that brought you home the other day. Yes, I want to give him something. <coughs> Look, well, if you go there to embarrass yourself, as usual, I will disown you. I won't. Mm -hmm. I've said my own. Feel free. Go, go. You know what? These actually taste nice. You didn't come with your wallet. My wallet? Mm hmm. You don't think I'm going to pay for this meal, do you? Well, you asked for a date, though. Yes, I did, because you kept asking to see me. I decided to oblige, and um, obviously, you know, a damsel in distress who's jobless can't possibly pay for this meal. <laughs> that won't be fair. Okay, okay, um, I know, <laughs> I know. You're right, but yeah, I didn't call my wallet back in my car. knows you're a thief yeah he's aware you steal so you'd have just said hi I'm so sorry I stole your late son's passport that doesn't sound right 
Hey, Williams. Me too. Okay, I'm actually jobless, so I don't have anything doing. <laughs> okay. You've got the permission to steal my heart. Listen, I love you just the way you are. You can count on that. Yeah. I'm at your gate. Okay. Never ever leave your side. Cause I know this shame. I know this shame for you. See, I'm a let the world know. I know this shame. I know this shame for you. Hi. Oh, what? Never mind. Hi. My name is Chingwe. Um, Williams is the name. Hmm. A fine name for a handsome man. Thank you. What are you doing around here? Uh, I, I came to pick my date. Your date? Mm-hmm. Um, Alicia. Alicia. Yeah, Alicia. Do you know her? Of course. I know Alicia. She's my friend. Oh. It's just that I wouldn't advise you to do that. Hi, Chiwe. Hi. Oh, I need to talk to you. Give me a second. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Alicia. What? You want to go on a date? Yes, he invited me for a business meeting. And you want to go? What? Are you crazy? Chimwe, this is not the time or place for this, okay? Just stop. Hey. Alicia, you can't go on this date. Tell him you can't go. Why? Do you want to go and embarrass yourself? Shut up. I know you think I'm going to pick up something and put it in my bag. So I took a smaller bag. And you that is saying this thing, do you even believe it? Do you trust yourself? Alicia. Oh. Hi. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Please come in. Even on the days that you find it hard to love yourself, never ever leave your side, baby. Cause I know this shame. I know this shame for you. See, I'm a left the world know. This girl, this thief, going on a date. Where did she even get this fine boy from? This rich looking guy from? Auntie Jane. Auntie Jane, we hear this. Um, 
Um, thanks for coming with me. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. It's fine. It's fine. You keep saying it's fine. It's not okay. I just made you lose a multi-million naira deal. What would you have me say? Something. Anything. Anything but it's fine, because it's not fine. I mean, I stole your potential partner's fashion purse and... Why did you take it? Do you like it? Funny thing is, I actually have it. The exact same color in my room. So why did you take it? I don't know. You know what? What has happened has happened, okay? So just let go of it. It's fine. You keep saying it's fine, it's not fine. Don't say that. I get it. You don't know why you took it. I just look. I understand, okay? Just let go of it. It's okay. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will talk to you later. And I promise I'll be here. Never leave you in despair. Stick with you through thick and thin, baby. Cause I know this shame. I know this shame for you. I'm a left the world I know this shame I know this shame for you And I'm a left the world know You got the permission To steal my heart Only you You've got the Alicia, I have invited a powerful man of God to my church for a program tomorrow. I told him that he will conduct a private deliverance session for you after that. The program starts by 6 a.m., so make sure you are out of this bed on time. I don't need deliverance now. Which one is deliverance again? Hi! Auntie, please, is the devil. Please, Auntie, please. You have not only ruined yourself, but me, my work, my church. Everything I've labored for, it may be a layer. What did I do wrong to you? Is it a bad thing to help somebody? I was just following the instruction of my Lord and Master to help. I brought a renowned man of God to come and pray for you, to deliver you from this sickness. And what did you do? You stole his Bible. You stole his weapon of warfare. Hey, there. I know that you are a hardened criminal, but even those inside Maximum Prison, they know that you should stay away from things of God. You don't fear God. You stole the word of God. Do you know the kind of curses you have incurred upon yourself? And you want to carry those curses and come into my house? I disown you from today. From now on, I am no longer your auntie and you are no longer my niece. Auntie, if you see me coming like this, you take like this. Forget that we were ever related. Hmm? Leave my house. Go into the wide world and do as you please. If you like, use your head and be walking and your leg will be up. Come back. Auntie, please, auntie, please, auntie, please don't do this to me. You don't do this to me. Where will I go to? You will go to hell now. You're already on the way there, so just make the journey faster and go. Oh, staying here covers my shame. And how has that been working for both of us? Eh? See where you have landed me now. See where do you want me to go to? Go to hell, isn't it? You're already ah. on your way there, so just make the journey faster. Hey. God, please. 
Can you please just give me a few days? Let me look for where I can stay, please, and see. Accommodation in this town is not easy at all. Oh, I have a very, very good idea. You go under the bridge and go meet your fellow hoodlums there. When you go there, your rank will rise fast, though. Because I'm sure by now they have already heard of all your doings. By now. When you go there, you introduce yourself to them. They should give you a good title, like Slake within the ocean. Eh? First lady in the Oshi Bible. Go there. They will give you rank. Oh? But help me beg them, please. Whenever you pull a going hand from house to house, Robin, tell them to spare my house because of my kindness to you in the past. Please, I say, please, because. Please don't send me out, please. I'll do anything you want me to do, please. please. You no, know, because of the kindness of the Lord in my heart, you think I'm too gentle. You don't know, I also have fire and brimstone. Okay, Auntie, please, Auntie, please, Auntie. Auntie, please don't do this to me. Wait, 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 wait. Shema, bro. I will pack your bag for you. I don't trust you. I will pack your traveling bag for you, don't worry. Oh, because if I leave you to pack by yourself, before I come now, you will pack the bed and pack all the, the, the paintings in the room. Hey! I see cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. I am free. Lord, I am free of her iniquity. A lost cause. And you won't be found. Clear myself of every iniquity of this girl. You would be fighting in a just cause. If you think I'm getting all I deserve, take your judgment off me and be. Hello, Chinwe. I'm in a mess. Chinwe, I'll tell you when I see you. Auntie Jane has kicked me out of the house. I have nowhere to go to. Please, can I come stay at your place? Chinwe, please. I know why you say no, but I assure you, I will not take anything. <laughs> This is your room. Freshen up while I go make dinner. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Yes, that's all. Just my voice Don't smack at me Hey. Um, so I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want to come? No, I'm good. Look. Don't worry. Um, I'll have my eyes on you to avoid any temptation. This might just be one of the best ways to control yourself. Get set, okay? I'm downstairs. I'm waiting. To go get sanitary towel. I promise. Okay. Can I search your bag? What? Can I search your bag, you bloody thief? Before I call the police on you now! I beg your pardon. Uh, please, please. Um, um, can we just settle this like, like adults, please? Is she your girlfriend? Uh, yes. Oh, so as fine as you are, you cannot afford condom. But I'm giving your bag before I slap you! What? You that Chris? Huh? What is this? You don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. What is this? You bloody thief! Condom! As fine as you are, condom! Michael, get me my phone! I will send you to prison today! Yes, yes, doctor. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll be expecting a feedback from you. Thank you. I just spoke to um, a doctor friend of mine. He runs a, a private hospital. Um, he said there are no mental health specialists available at the moment at this hospital, but he promised to make a few calls. Yeah, so they get the best psychiatrist and clinical psychologist and therapist. Because he said you've been needing three of them. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. Hey, hey, hey. It's fine. I'm not complaining. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this for me? Why are you giving me shelter? 
you're seeking for help for me. Why do you care for me? In spite of the shame that I bring you, in spite of my ridiculous habits. <sighs> Why? I care about you, Alicia. I've liked you from the very first day I saw you at that restaurant. Why do you think I asked for your contact? <laughs> Obviously not only for business. I wanted to keep in touch. I wanted to get to know you. I don't know, but there was something about you that caught my fancy and... Um, and now? Now that you know me, and now that you know all of me, I still care about you. You've got the permission to steal my heart. Listen, I love you just the way you are. You can count on that. That you find it hard to love yourself Never ever leave your side Baby, cause I know this shame hmm. So, do you intend getting a job? No I don't need any more embarrassments I've had a lot of um, bad experiences I've embarrassed myself so much. In fact, I think I've gotten a lifetime of embarrassments. I'm not going back to work. Maybe until I find a solution. You know what's funny? I don't blame anyone. I don't blame my family. I don't blame my bosses. I don't blame my friends. I've been badly behaved. I deserve everything that I'm getting. <clears throat> Tell me more, I mean. Tell me about everything. How did it start and how bad is it? Kleptomania. That's what it's called. Okay. Let's see. Mm. What does it say? What do you think? Kleptomania, it's, it's a mental health disorder that involves repeatedly being unable to resist urge to steal items that you generally don't need. So what do you think? Mm. You think it's a medical problem? Uh, well, kleptomania is just, I think it's a mental health you sure? All my life, I've been made to feel like I was possessed. Like I was cursed. Like there was a demon living inside of me. Look, I know how humans can be out of ignorance. If it's a medical condition, do you think I need medical treatments? So, based on what we're seeing here, I believe it has to do with um, mental health, so it requires more than medication. Meaning I might have to be locked up in a mental health facility like a psychiatric hospital? <laughs> no, no, hell no. Um, look, I don't know much about this, 
but all I can say is I will do everything within my power to get you the help you need, okay? Even if it means locking me up. Nobody's locking you up, Alicia. It's okay. Hmm? Hey, let's, um, let's read more. Hmm. So it says, um, kleptomania is rare, but can be a very serious condition. It can cause emotional pain to you and your loved ones, and even legal problems if not treated. Um, we'll get you the help you need. Alicia, so you really moved in with him? I'm squatting. <laughs> squatting. Squatting until you steal everything in this beautiful house. Chinwe, you know you have no right to talk to me like that. After all, you abandoned me. Ah, ah. Yes, you abandoned me when I needed you. Ah. How now? Am I the one that sent you out of the house? Why are you putting your uh, aggression on me? If you have aggression, put it on your auntie who sent you out. Or better still, on yourself. Mm. Because the way I see it, you're the cause of your own predicament. This house is fine, no? Mm -hmm. and, and so? He seems like he's a very rich man. What do the two of you have together? Nothing. Nothing? Yes. <laughs> better, oh. Because the way you are, you don't even need to be thinking about anything, relationship, talkless of marriage. Eh, even well-behaved girls like me. They're not yet married. I'm still single. Mm -hmm. Hey! Um, hey, um... Chingwe, but you can just call me Chi. Chi, baby. Uh, hi, Chingwe. How you doing? I'm fine. Are you going out? Yeah, yeah, I'm going out. Good. You just dropped me. I thought she came to see your friend. Uh, yes, and I just saw her. Right? Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but you don't even know where I'm going to if I'm going your way or something. Does it matter? I will figure that out when we're in the car. Hmm? <sighs> Anyways, um, I'm going out. Take care of yourself. Okay? Um, I'll call you. Okay. Right. Shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> Have a great day. Not if anything. No. It was just for you. Why did you stop the car? Why would I stop? Ever since we started having this trip, all you've been doing is to badmouth your friend. What do you mean by badmouth my friend? I'm just being honest. I'm saying the truth. I'm not lying against her. I'm just trying to let you know who she really is. Alicia is not that kind of person. She, I don't just want you to start something that you end up Something regretting. like what? A relationship. Williams, Alicia is not that kind of girl you think she is, so... She's not the kind of girl you, you want to start something with and then introduce. Enough! I can actually go on and on. You know what? You don't need to say no more. Just get out of my car. I've not gotten to where I'm going. You have nowhere to go to. So please get out of my car. Okay. No problem. Let me just get your number so that we can get to talk some other time. There will be no need for that. Get out! Just think about it. Days that you find it hard to love yourself. Never ever leave your side, baby. Cause I know this shame. I know this shame for you. See, I'm a let the world know. I know this shame. I know this shame for you. It doesn't really matter what you do 
Here you are, and I've been looking for you everywhere. What do you mean looking for me everywhere? I've been in here all day. And I've been in the living room missing you. Did you just say you were missing me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about you stay here in my room with me? Do you know how to use a hair straight now? Uh, I can try. Don't burn my hair. Uh, uh, what do you take me for, though? <laughs> uh, um, okay. Ow! Are you trying to roast my ear? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just joking. <laughs> I was just joking. What kind of joke is that? It's not funny. Okay, look. Let me do it for real. For real, for real. See, I was a professional stylist, so hairstylist, bad one. Really? Yes, now. When? My past. For real, let me do this. past? Let me do it. Just relax, okay? Okay. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I love you just the way you are. Okay. You can count on that. Mm -hmm. Even on the days that you find it hard to love yourself. Never ever leave your side, baby. Yes, I know this shame. I know this shame for you. See, I'm a let the world know. I know this shame. I know this shame for you. Hey, Mr. Williams, what's going on? <laughs> ah, Mr. Dapo, good to see you. You know what I'll say the same, but I don't understand what's going on here. Um, we came to hang out. <laughs> Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you came up with her? Yeah, obviously. Bro, bro, look, man. You're a man of integrity. And I promise you don't want to be seen with someone like this. Um, Mr. Dapo, I, I don't understand what I'm talking about. <sighs> Let me break it down. You are too good of a man to be seen with a pickpocket. I am not a pickpocket. Really? Really? What? Sorry? Well, I must be forgetting something. You should please refresh my memory. What are you again? A thief? Oh, no, wait. An arm robber? Mr. Dagbo. Look, bro. What I'm trying to say is I fired this girl because she steals. She's a thief. I know, and so? So? So what gave you the right to walk up to us and start calling her names? What happened to the part where you get to say hello and grab a chair? Look, I'm just trying to be my brother's keeper. I'm not your brother, Mr. Dapo. And I don't need to be kept. Bro, just calm down, okay? You don't have to be all walked up by a woman like this. She's not that type, okay? You are a good man. You are. There's a lot of good women out there, but she's not one of them. So I need you to understand that, bro. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. Don't go after her. I promise you, you will have a happy life. Mr. Dapo, 
Yes, brother. Get out of my way. Okay, fine. But please watch your phone, your wallet, your car keys. She might steal your life away from you. I feel bad for you, brother. I feel really, really bad for you. Hey, what up, guys? Just give me the, uh, my, 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 my usual stuff, yeah? What's up? Uh, Alicia, you, you can't do this. Alicia, you're not leaving this house. I'm leaving. Alicia, don't tell me you're letting what Dako said get to you. He's probably bitter to see you happy, Alicia. Look, perhaps he's thinking you'll just be somewhere depressed. Alicia, you should be proud of yourself that no matter how much you get pulled down, you still get back on your feet. Alicia, you're a strong woman. Please, don't do this. I have to go. Everything that was said about me is true. I am everything he said. Alicia, please. Thank you for housing me, for believing in me. But I need to do this on my own. I need to go. Please don't stop me. Don't stop me. I love you. I love you, Alicia. You can't love me. You don't tell me what I can or I cannot do. If you don't feel the same way about me, you just say, but don't tell me I can't love you. My feelings are irrelevant. We can't be together. Why? Why can't we be together, Alicia? Why? Because I'm a pathetic thief. Okay, that's all I know how to do. I steal. I guess I know. You've, you've stolen my heart. I want to be with you. Can you just close your eyes to the negatives and just focus on the positive? If you don't feel the same way about me and you want to handle your things alone, then you can go. Don't touch it. Don't even touch it. Don't don't touch it, oh. I'm, I won't. Auntie, good afternoon. So it is true. It is true that you packed in here with a man to start fornicating. What? Hey! We are still talking about one, another one is starting up. Eh? We are still talking about how to cure. This your hand that cannot stay in one place. Now you've added your waist to what we are going to be praying about. Eh? Eh? Now it is a two-pronged mission. Oh, it's even you. Uh, good afternoon, Mom. What is good about the afternoon? Look at my face. As you see this face like this, does it look good to you? Does it look like this afternoon is good, Mr. Kidnapper? I beg your pardon. He is not a kidnapper. Pa, Michono, what do you know? This man here is holding you hostage in his house. He is taking advantage of you. He is just using you to dump you because he knows that you are helpless. Uh, okay, look, I would love to respect you, more. But I will not entertain you speaking ill of me in my own house. Mitra, I did not come here to be entertained. I came here to go home with my niece. And she will follow me. No, she won't. She won't go back to the same house where she was humiliated and thrown out of. Really? Ngwa? Who do you choose? This man or me? Alicia, I would suggest that you, you think very well before you speak. Because Auntie Jane here is the only family that you have. And no matter what, family is ultimate. Mr. Williams here, on the other hand, is a stranger, a total stranger. He may just wake up one day, grow tired of you, and turn his back on you. I think I'll go with Auntie Jane. Mm-hmm. Ngwa. Auntie Jane is here waiting for you. Go and bring your bags. 
will not hold it against her. I am like my Lord and Master Jesus. I give plenty chances. Hey, look at how she's walking. Look at how she's walking. No, she's not even walking well again. Hey, this man has finished my knee. Bia, where are you going? Bia? Bia, Bia, where are you going to? Oh, you want to go there and collect one for the road? Eh? Hey, look at Michala. Oh, Michala water. Oh, Michala Yakoroma. He has sucked the essence out of my knee, so what is remaining is just a, a dangling piece of orange bark. Hey! This man has finished my knees. You don't have to leave. You've made your choice and uh, I hope you're happy. I have something for you. Something that belongs to you. Where did, you, where did you get this from? I took it the first time we met. You what? You have my son's passport. Do you know how miserable I felt not having this? I could not even save him out of danger. And yet I couldn't keep his picture safe. Thinking I was a careless father, not knowing someone else needed it. I tried to return it. But for some reason, you weren't carrying your wallet. That's because it's always in my wallet and I take it everywhere I go. I'm glad you have it now. I should go. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Where will I start from now for this cleansing? How many bottles of anointing oil now will I use to cleanse her from top to down? Eh? We were first praying for the hands. Now I have to finish my anointing oil there. I have to finish it there. Anointing oil is expensive. All my money will finish on anointing oil now on this girl. All the labor I could take now my Hey! Welcome, prodigal niece. Yeah, just so you know, from now henceforth, you are grounded. I don't want to see this, your two legs, outside until we find a solution to your problem. Walking bag of disgrace. Just cause If 
you think I'm getting all I deserve? Take your judgment off me and be fair. Nobody has it easy. If you can, but show me the way. Take it that I am doing my best. But the strings on this rope might just give in. Cause I am falling and hoping that somebody picks me up can you hear me crying hoping that somebody will reach out but the lot of ice cream i keep hearing echoes the lot of ice cream i keep hearing echoes Lot of ice cream, I keep hearing echoes. Don't look at me like that. I can see the judgy eyes, I can hear the gloating and mocking. Yeah, I'd rather be alone. Than to have you faking it to my face. Take your judgment of me and be fair. You know that nobody has it easy. If you can, but show me the way. Take it that I'll be doing my best. But the strings on this rope might just give in, and I am falling. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, what are you doing here? What sort of question is that? Don't act like you don't know. Um, hey look, I, I don't know why you're here. Last I checked, you and Alicia's aunt came here to pick her up. So what are you doing here? I did that for us. Williams, I figured that you and I would look better together. Where is this coming from? It's coming from my heart, Williams. I like you so much. I just want you to give me a chance. Let's get to know each other. Are you okay? No, no, no. Are you on something? We're not the one that said Alicia is no good for any man. She's obviously better than you. And hey, for the records, you're not supposed to be a friend. Leave my house. Hey! Leave my house. Of you. You've proven time without me, but that you're nothing but a fake friend. I've stuck with your rubbish. I've put up with your nonsense, thinking you were the only friend that I had, not knowing you are the snake in the grass. <laughs> See who is talking about being stuck? Alicia, I'm the one that I've been stuck with you. Huh? I'm the one that I've been stuck with your dirty and embarrassing character. The only reason I've I've still been in your life is because I just pity you. I don't want you to be miserable. With friends like you, who needs enemies? Out. I should leave. Go to hell. Leave! <laughs> Just cause 
If you think I'm getting all I deserve Take your judgment off me and be fair Nobody has it easy If you can but show me the way Take it that I am doing my best But the strings on this rope might just give in Cause I am falling And hoping that somebody picks me can you hear me crying? Hoping that somebody will reach out with a lot of ice cream I keep hearing. Mm. Doctor. Hello, Doc. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I love you just the way you are You can count on that Even on the days that you find it hard to love yourself Yeah Hold on, I'm coming I'm coming, hold on Yeah, yeah, yes, you can. Uh, um, Alicia, I wasn't expecting you. I came to see your face. I miss you. I'm sorry about how I left them. Stick with you through thick and thin, baby. Cause I know this shame. I know this shame for you. What? What's wrong? Um, I need to tell you something. Now? Yeah, right now. Okay. Okay, come in. Okay, I booked you an appointment with a doctor friend of mine who is a therapist in the mental health institution for next week. That's if you agree to go. And I also registered you with um, a self-help group so that I could do some social works that could help. You did? Without my consent? Uh, yeah. Uh, look, Alicia, uh, these things would help you and in no time you'll be fine. No one has ever done this for me. How do I thank you? <laughs> <laughs> thank me? How do you thank me? Why don't we start by you accepting to be my girlfriend? Is that a condition? <laughs> it's not a condition, but yeah, will you be my girlfriend? Are you asking me to be your girlfriend? Because if you didn't ask me, I would have stolen you. Really? Yes. I love you just the way you are. You can count on that. Even on the days that you find it hard to love yourself. Never ever leave your side, baby. Because I know this shame. I know this shame for you. See, I'm gonna let the world know. I know this shame. I know this shame for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna let the world know. Doesn't really matter what you do. Doesn't matter where you go. I will never ever leave your side. I promise I'll be here, never leave you in despair. Stick with.
reach you through thick and thin. They 